What's up guys, it's your favorite Kiwi coach. Give me six months of your time and I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. Whoa. So welcome back to the channel guys. In this particular video, we have the one, the only, the infamous, Hiro-san. Welcome back to lesson number two. Say hello to the audience. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, I'm Hiro. 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 I'm I'm releasing a lot. Um, I'm getting so much um, higher ball flight than nice. ever. But, and my strike is really good. Although, I cannot hit a push draw that I like to see. See, Every Hero time. knows how to give negative feedback, correct, right? He's got to give you, butters you up, gives you the positive, and then lays down the negative. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah. Let's look at the path. So when you hit the um, the slice, mm -hmm. like you said, it starts right, then goes right, but then sometimes it starts left and then goes right. It starts straight and it goes right. It okay. Starts straight and goes right. Yeah. That's the most common straight. That's the most right? common one. Yeah, so exactly. it, I would assume then your path is left or close to left, mm -hmm. which is good. So that means that we're not doing the old type of slice, which was the handle drag club behind, like eight degree in to out club path, positive thirteen face angle push slice. So we're not doing that. It's good. So now the question I think really in lies, how can I square the face basically um, with this new release pattern is really the question, right? So mm -hmm. I, I understand how to throw the club out towards the ball, how to get less handle drag. Mm -hmm. But if I want to square the face more, how can I do that? Maybe you don't want to necessarily gamma rotate or <laughs> do this as much, right? So no. how can I do that without doing a massive amount of this, right? That's the question. How? Just how? release more? Is that? Yeah, so I think, so closing the face, mm -hmm. there's three ways. So you can get the handle really low, mm -hmm. points, points the face more left. Yeah. You can rotate on the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. Mm -hmm. So that'll yeah. close the toe. And then last but not least, um, you can get the... Handle to be more handle late, that mm -hmm. also closes as well. Yeah. So kind of our idea on the alpha is we try to close the face more so through, almost. I guess you call it handle late, but we call it more of the alpha rotation. Yeah. So that would be how I'd want you to try to close the face up. Mm -hmm. So getting more of this. Yeah. And then uh, worst case scenario, if we have to add on a little bit of a counterclockwise rotation, Twist. maybe that would be something we could do as well. Okay. So I think when it comes to keeping height trajectory, Typically, the handle late idea is a better approach to square in the face mm -hmm. because this will typically take off loft, mm -hmm. but you'll hit the ball straighter, right? So, you, you know, for you, yeah. that's why we always try to talk about the alpha rotation. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we need to do to fix. Like, no rotation, just release. <laughs> Essentially. So, sort of swing up to the top. Right. So, if we can, uh, here, let me just do it this way, actually. So, okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're onto it. So for here, mm -hmm. and then we came down more like this. Mm -hmm. So this would be, we're trying to get to this point mm -hmm. when the hands are right around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you get there, that would be the more alpha rotation way to uh, rotate it. Mm -hmm. And that should, yeah. Close the face. That should close the face. All right. So all you're trying to do is come down and feel like most of the alpha rotation mm -hmm. is done at this point. Okay. And that should square the face. So I'm assuming that your path will be probably closer to still negative, mm -hmm. but instead of having like a positive two face angle, maybe you have a negative two face angle. Yeah. And that would probably hit us a little baby fade. Okay, so that one. <laughs> So that when you had a negative 3.7, you hit a draw there, but definitely not a slice, right? It was not, it was not, it's weird. So, and you still had a dynamic loft, which guys, I know for most people, that's not a high dynamic loft, but for Hero, that's quite high, <laughs> 14 degrees. You still got good loft. So that means that you most likely were more so 
-hmm. releasing the face on the alpha axis mm -hmm. as opposed to the gamma. Because right. if you release it on the gamma, you'd probably see that drop lower. Okay. Most likely downer. Because you know, when you hit it low, you're hitting it at like almost 10 degrees aloft. Okay. Release. Went straight, but didn't pick up numbers. You don't know. Damn. So questions with that. So the way you control that is, as always, in the timing, right? Timing, release. Okay, so here, let me get out my fancy pins here. If I have them in my backpack. Let's go draw some graphs here. All right, so you have the, so this is just what I, how I want you to map it out in your mind. Okay, so we're gonna have the alpha rotation, right? So I'll just put this for alpha, that's the graph. And then let's say we look something kind of on the lines of this, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say this is gonna be um, P4, and let's put this P nana, right? So then uh, we're gonna have maybe P5 here, and maybe P6 here, right? Okay, so now this is going to be the magnitude, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put M for magnitude of the rotation force or the torque basically. Yep. So this is 100%, much as you can do, this would be zero, right? So let's say uh, top is swing. As you get up towards the top, you're technically trying to lay the club off. All right, that's it for you guys on YouTube. But before you guys click off, Hero, keep their attention and let's give them some wrap up points. <laughs> oh, Mike, thank you so much. えっと、ローテーションの試験数だったりだとか、フォロースルーに関するいろいろなことを勉強させてもらいました。また、コースで、え、いろいろ試してみて、え、自分の中での学びだったり、を具体的に、何ですか、スイングの中で取り組めたら